And we are careful to give you all the praise. We are careful to give you all the glory. We are careful to give you honor. We are careful to give you dominion and power. It belongs to you alone. We will not rob you of your praise, God. We will not rob you of your glory tonight. Because we know you're worthy to be praised. Sustain of life, we give you glory. Possess of heaven and earth, we praise you. Oh, God Almighty, we lord you tonight, Jesus. You are worthy. Hallelujah. And there is none like our God. And there is none to be compared with you tonight. Oh, it's like unto thee. Hallelujah. And we give you praise. Hallelujah. We give you praise. One more song, the moderator will come. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord.
Oh, come on, somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, church. What a mighty God we serve. God, we serve. Angels bow before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. We command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord. Drop your weapons and leave. For the Lord has given us the authority to walk all over you.
God praise here tonight. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some praise. Come on, keep praising God. Come on, keep praising God. Keep praising Him. Go ahead, keep on praising Him. Praising Him. Somebody keep on praising Him. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody praise the Lord tonight. You may be seated. Amen. Let me take this time out to welcome each and everyone here tonight at our service at Rescue the Persian Deliverance Ministries. We want to know that you're welcome. Is everybody come for the first time? Could you stand? Let me see here for the first time in, in this church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Could you tell us who invited you in your name? My name is Marty. Glad to have you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Tell us who invited What's your name? My name is Marlon. Can you invite him? Amen. Praise the Lord. Put some together for the member body. Amen. <laughs> On behalf of our pastor, Amen. Pastor Dr. Delroy Chambers, and Minister Evan Chambers, Minister Juliet Douglas, Minister Julius Dawkins, Dr. Mark Mahoney, Dr. Wilkes, Horace Wilkes, and all the board members of this church, we want to say welcome to Rescue the Pershing. I'm glad you're here, and we trust that you will be blessed while you're here tonight. Well, tonight is all right and a fellowship. I'm going to ask. All those who will be taking right now, first we sit on this side from the, on this side, praise the Lord, amen. amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm going to ask the board members to sit in the second stage, where sister, sister, Marcy did sit in the board members to sit in that, in that section there, board members and trustees. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I told you that things will be different tonight in our meeting. It's going to be a new way. I've never seen it before. As the Lord will just show me, I just move as He showed me. Amen. Church of God. As, as the ministry grows, things grow. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We thank the Lord for His love and His mercy and His grace here tonight. So you're, you're, you're just temporary for the time being, okay, sir? No. Brother Mark, I can't, I can't invite, amen. Marty. Brother Marty, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We'll give the Lord thanks and praise and glory and honor <coughs> for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. Praise the Lord, amen. So Gabriel's supposed to be over there in the room. Be the, okay. oh, praise the Lord, all right, amen. Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. So we have four, two, Canadian Alex says, okay, praise the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. Well, we're happy that the Lord is with us tonight, and we know, as the Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, and we know that the spirit of the Lord is in the house tonight. Somebody say Amen. There's no better place it could be than to be here tonight. So I'm going to see Brother Nathan here on a Sunday night. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I've curfewed his wife from Monday night telling her she needs to be here tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Sir, Carol, give him some water, please. I'm happy that you are all here tonight. Amen. I want to share with you a short word. Amen. Praise the Lord as we extend the right hand of. Fellowship tonight, amen. amen. Praise the Lord Jesus, amen. amen. <clears throat> I want us to go to the book of Galatians chapter 5. I want to thank God for our cameraman doing a good job, amen. Amen, brother. Brother Mark. Brother Dawkins, Chris. Brother Jeffrey. Brother Romaine. I'm here tonight, amen. Brother Morgan, amen. 
I want to say two sisters, Sister Cameron and also Sister Monica. Amen. Let me love anybody. Brother Lenny, thank you very much. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, please. Galatians 5. Let us take. Oh, we need to read our proper scripture. Amen. Book of Job chapter 5. Amen. Let's read Job 5 first. Praise the Lord. Amen. Job 5. I'm going to ask Brother Donald to come and read Job 5 for us. Call now, if there be any that will answer thee, and to which of the saints will thou turn? I have seen the foolish talking road. I repeat, I have seen the foolish taking road, but suddenly I curse his habitation. Whose harvest the hungry eat it up and take it, it even of the thorns and the rubber swallow it up the substance. Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Which doth the great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. To set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He taketh the wise to their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the end of the mighty. Behold, Happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore despise it not though the chastening of the Almighty. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thine offering as the grass of the earth. Praise God. We'll read 27 together. Lo, this we have searched it, so it's clear, and know thou it by for good. Praise God. 
hearing of God, holy word, we honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall it be, world without end. Amen. Praise God. Please remember your name is Brother Donald okay, sir? And I can be seated. <coughs> Behold, happy is the man whom God corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. When the Lord chastens you, you are well blessed and highly favored. It means you are not a bastard, but you are a son. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Let's go to Scripture Galatians 5. I want to encourage these elect members this evening. Also, the overflow will go to our regular members. I hope I thought I would see some more of the burden here this evening. Galatians 5, verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where Christ had made us free. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Stand fast, therefore, in this freedom where Christ had made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. I want to encourage you all to stand, stand fast in this liberty, in this freedom where Christ has made us free because we are free not because of any good that we have done. We are free because of faith that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul said we must stand fast. It means that things will come whether you are saved years ago or you just come in months ago or weeks ago, things will come at us. Somebody say amen. amen. But I encourage you to stand despite what you may face or hear or see. Stand fast in this liberty. Amen. Now there are some folks because they knew that the Lord can forgive or know that God can forgive. They would go back and do things that ask for forgiveness. Let's not abuse God's grace. Somebody say amen. Grace is available if we fail. Not when we fail. The gospel Bible says if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. So we don't have to sin. Provision is made. The Bible says it's able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day. Oh, somebody praise God. Hallelujah. And as the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him in all the earth? Job stood fast in righteousness. Glory to God. And we're in a world today where some folks believe that we cannot live a holy and a righteous life. But I come to declare to us tonight that this Despite what is going on, we can still stand. Oh, lift your hand and give God a praise here this evening. Hallelujah. That's why I say stand fast, stand fast. But I dream you're the youngest one in terms of being baptized. Just got baptized last week, Sunday. Amen. And as a young man, things will face you in life. Girls will come on to you and say, Come, Jeremy, let's do a thing together. But you got to know you're you're handsome. You're looking good. You're, you're handsome man, amen? amen. And I'm telling you that things will come, challenges will come in life. But remember who called you? Amen. That He's able to keep you, and He said, "Stand fast." Yes. I gave my heart to the Lord. Was almost 17 years old, 16 years plus, amen. And that's over 38 years ago. Glory to God. And the Lord has been keeping me. Amen. I didn't have to backslide. I did not, don't plan to, don't intend to. Because the Bible said he's able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day. Oh, glory to God. I remember Deacon was sharing the way he got saved. That somebody was saying that there's no a true Christian, something like that. And he decided, he's going to 
get, get saved and live a life to show them that they are real Christian. Amen. I tell the person, well, you you then go and show them how Christians are supposed to live. Am I might quote right something to that effect? And he got saved eight years ago, glory to God. And he's living a life to please Almighty God. Somebody give God praise. Things will come as long as we are in this world. Things will come. But the Lord says, stand fast in the liberty where with Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. Otherwise, don't go back into sin. Glory to God. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Help me somebody. Behold, all things are become new. And the Bible said that if any man will live godly in Christ Jesus, must suffer persecution. Things will face you and I. I may be the oldest one saved here. I don't know if all oh, oh, the mother in law got saved or oh, old oh, now. She saved her advice, doctors, but I'm saved probably more than everybody. I'm not too sure. 38 years ago, maybe the oldest one who gets saved. I'm not too sure as I said, amen. Not the oldest person in the church, but probably got saved before all you. I'm not too sure, amen. And as we journey on in this life, there are potholes out there, yes. amen. We are on a highway. And on this highway, there are several exits. Yes. Amen. We have compromising exit. Somebody say amen. You have backbiting exit. Can I talk to somebody? You have gossip exit. Fornication exit. Adultery exit. Amen. Tear bearing exit. But when you see those exit, drive past. Hallelujah. Don't turn off. And so help me God. Just prevent you turn off. Find a way and get back on the highway. Oh somebody give God a praise here. Sometimes driving on the highway. When I was sometimes going to Florida. Not get used to Florida so much then. I would take the wrong exit. But I recognize. I was on the wrong exit. And I got back myself on the highway. Oh hallelujah. So just in case you come off at the wrong exit. Don't stay there. Find a way. And get back on the highway. Oh somebody say man. What am I talking about? Just in case you feel. Don't stay and feel. Get up. Brush off yourself. Ask the Lord to wash you. And to cleanse you. And put you back on the highway. Because great is sufficient. Somebody praise God on this Sunday night. So whatever you are doing remember you can stand. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Your need sister, your need got baptized how long ago it was? Before 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 brother Jeremy. Amen. So you are the next one. You are young. Amen. Glory to God. The Lord is able to keep you sister Yanni. Amen. amen. Somebody say Amen. amen. Glory to God. The Lord is able to keep you. Just align yourself with the right people in church. Somebody say, man, if anything is affecting you, find somebody. Here is Evans Douglas. Here is you have a great auntie. I can call her auntie. Amen. You can talk to this woman of God. Amen. She'll help you. Glory to God in the right path. If not, go to minister Evans Chambers. Look for those who seek to worship God and link up with them. Anyone you want to associate yourself with, look for worshipers. Yes. Said so those are the ones that want to be. Don't look for people who stand in church when they should be worshiping God. Amen. No, no. You don't want to align yourself with those people. Okay, brother Jeremy, find worshiper. Amen. Somebody say, okay, brother Daniel, find worshiper. Hallelujah. Somebody say, amen. Glory to God. So Paul say, stand fast. Now, if I'm standing, I am in a fixed position. Yes. It means that winds will blow. Yes. I don't know how long this building has been erected. But I'm sure it's gone through many storms. Yes. Amen. Many, many, many snowstorms have come upon this building. Many cold times this building has passed through. But it still stands. Amen. 
and it does not matter what snow may come and wind may come still stand amen hallelujah when a young girl come and want to pass a word with you young man say look i'm a child of god i am saved hallelujah and i'm gonna live my life to please god when the devil come and say go take that nobody watching you say these hands are sanctified when the devil come and tell you Tell them peace of your mind. Say, remember now, this mind now belongs to God. You got to only speak the things that are holy. Can you give God a praise here tonight? I saw Paul wrote to the church at Galatia. He said, brethren, stand fast. Things will come. People will want to get you mixed up with stuff. But stand. Oh, tell somebody, stand. Slap somebody high from and say, stand, sister. Stand, brother. Hallelujah. I don't know what the devil is telling you. I don't know what he recommends for you to do. But stand in holiness. Somebody praise God in this church tonight. Hallelujah. Never seem to get mixed up with things that are not holy. Never get involved with anything that doesn't glorify God. Let me say to us all. Not everybody in church is sanctified. Amen. Come on. Amen. Not everybody in church seek to walk holy. holy. Yes. Bishop David said that there's a church for everybody. Yes. There's a church for everybody. Yes. Meaning that you can find a church where anything can take place. Yes. And nothing is wrong with it. Based on some folks. Yes. Amen. We have, because now you have the homosexual church. And they believe they are right. They meant somebody. You have some who pray to Mary and believe they are right. Amen. But we believe in holiness. Glory to God. As the Bible said, with all the holiness and peace, no man shall see God. So seek to walk holy. So look out for potholes. Pothole believers. They will come and tell you nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. You don't have to do what passed. That's it. Any member come and tell you. <laughs> come on. That don't do what passed. You don't have to do what passed. You use your commands and tell them, say, you're wrong company. You're going down. This elevator is going down. I want an elevator to carry me up. Somebody say, man. Hallelujah. Any because your pastor, your pastors, or two pastors here, Minister Ivan Chambers and myself, we have your sole interest at heart. Somebody say amen. amen. And if anybody should carry you down, we're not supposed to. Yes. We're supposed to lift you and build you. Can you say amen? Yes. So in case you don't want anybody said to you, come check us. Yes. Because we will guide you in the right path. Can you say amen, church of God? Yes. So I'm encouraging you to stand fast. So when the storms are blowing, Amen. When you're neck, 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 what's the word we find? Neck, 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 negativity. Thank you, bright boy. Don't be around such persons. You don't want no one to contaminate your spirit. Amen, Church of God. I want you to, as Deacon Hutchins decide to go on. Accept the Lord to show them what Christians are supposed to live. I want you to be examples. You elect members to be examples among the members. Amen. Be a light. Matthew 5, 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father. Daniel is the smallest in the midst. Amen. He's a, young, he's a good singer. Amen. Can sing for the Lord. Little things may come at him and nobody kill him. Amen. Somebody help him up. Somebody say amen. Support him. He because some of us big ones make some mistake and we don't expect them to make a little mistake. You must help them. Somebody say amen. If you book him to address it for him, help him and move on. Hallelujah. Like the good Samaritan there in the Bible when the men, man fell among thieves, the priests and the Levites passed by. But here comes a man that wasn't in the ministry. So if those in the ministry not helping you, God will send you other people to help you. Amen, somebody. Because sometimes the people are persons that we expect to reach out. They're not the ones. 
So just in case pastor don't call you one day, call pastor. Amen. If you're sick and pastor don't call, say, how oh, come me sick and pastor don't call? What's my pastor that? Call pastor, pastor may not so well. If pastor can't come, pastor send somebody. And even if no one no come, remember who call you. Not pastor call you, Jesus call you. Somebody say amen. Please remember this, that you're not called by man. You are called by God. Amen, somebody. So if things are not going the way it's supposed to go, God expect you to stand. Remember this, when all is said and done, it will be between you and God. The Bible said, let every man work out his own salvation. I don't care who may talk things that you don't like. Don't let what people say affect you. Yeah. If it affects you, you allow it to. Wow. Yeah. Only you and I, people of God, can allow what we're here to affect us. Yeah. The Bible says give no place to the devil. Yes. So if I give the devil a place, he will use the place I give to him. And if I, if he use the place I give to him, I will begin to behave like him. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So I'm encouraging you all tonight. Stand fast. Amen. In this liberty. In this church, we want to be a great family. It's okay, just brother Mong and jump off this. That is alright. It's not the rapture because I'm still here. Glory to God. So don't want to look around because if there's rapture, you wouldn't see me. Amen. amen. Brother Campbell had a vision of the past and it gone, so be sure of that. Amen, somebody. But some members were left behind. I pray. No, you don't get left. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. That's my say stand fast. It's still about stand fast. Even when things are not going the way you expect it to go, stand. And you remember new elect members. What you see now, it may, be, it may not be like this forever. Let me clarify that. The love and the hug up and all of that may not be always around. Because yes. you have, have potholes. Yes. And you have bumps yes. on the highway. Yes. Start, 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 right? Amen. You have bumps on the highway. So when the bomb come, remember the good times. Mm. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So be sustained yes. Yes. when the rough time come. Remember their good times. Yeah. Because pastor may get to the wrong side sometime. Only God knows what can happen tomorrow. Mm. But even if pastor get to the wrong side, which I don't hope to, yeah. remember the good side of pastor. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> Amen, somebody. I don't hope to do that. Just in case I may step on you sometime, Minister Darkin. Remember, Pastor, I have you on some good time with Pastor. And it goes to the member of the church. Amen. Things may happen, somebody may operate a way that you never expect them to. Yeah. Remember to stand fast. Amen, Church of God. Yeah. Remember. The only reason why you want to be a part of this fellowship, there must be something that you see why you want to be a part of this fellowship. So remember why you want to be a member of this church. There must be something good. And just in case something happened on the road, don't say it never good. It was good. Because how many of us here has, has a vehicle? How many of you have a vehicle? Amen. Anything, any of you have a puncture yet? Did puncture? Thank God for you. You have good tires, my amen. But what happened? You ever got changed oil in a vehicle yet? You know, your vehicle gets serviced, man. But it's, but it's, but you get serviced still, amen. Does it mean because you change oil, the vehicle don't good? Does it mean because there's a puncture, the vehicle don't good? So the same principle apply in the church. It not because somebody may do something mean that that person is not good. No. I don't want that to repeat in you members, amen? Yes, sure. Not because somebody may get out of line means it's not a good car. Just change the tire. Find a garage. 
Lord, somebody say amen. If you have to call Triple A, call Triple A. Always abiding, always. Amen, somebody say hallelujah. Call a prayer line. Call somebody to pray with you. Glory, because you just get a puncture on the car. It's good. Amen, somebody. It may be a word, somebody said, that puncture the tire. Call Triple A. Call your knees. Time for me to pray. Amen, somebody. Because my tire is punctured. And when your tire is punctured, it affects your mobility. Somebody say amen. So get out the spear. If there's no spear, jack up the car. If there's no jack, call pastor. Pastor, I need some assistance because I'm punctured and I can't move. Let pastor come lay hands on you. In Jesus' name, carry a prayer mother with me. Carry a brother. Carry a sister with me to pray with you to get your wheel back on that you can move on again. Somebody give God praise on this Sunday night. So my brethren, stand. Stand, church of God. We don't know what tomorrow holds. But stand fast in this liberty when Christ has made you free. Amen, everybody. Let us all stand now. So this is what you're doing. It's what you have just done. You have just what? Stand. You're not walking around. So whenever things come, just stand. I heard one song said, one the Bible said, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins, Ephesians 6, girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Oh, somebody give God praise here tonight. Hallelujah. And in the meantime, while I'm getting, we're getting started, just want to just move around. I like Mr. Dog in the, just greet somebody without the music. Praise the Lord. Just say something to somebody. Just greet somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, that is enough. In Jesus' name.